Hey babes, today I'm going shopping at Sephora once again, and of course I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna look at all of the new and viral makeup that has recently released at Sephora, but there's a catch. My budget today is going to be zero freaking dollars. Yes, I said it. I can't buy any of this. Zero dollars. That is my budget today. I don't really know why I'm doing this. This is going to be my first no spend window shopping video of the year where I show you how I talk myself out of buying things I don't necessarily need or want. It really is going to be hard because as you can tell, I love beauty, I love makeup, I love trying new makeup, I love buying new makeup, I love the act of shopping. But every once in a while, I have to remind myself that even as a content creator and a beauty enthusiast, I don't need it all. I don't even need to try it all. I can just go to the store, admire the way that it looks, admire the way that it feels, enjoy the idea of it without buying it. Why am I doing this again? I'm not doing this to inflict mental pain on myself, but I'm doing this because my goal for 2024 is to practice more self-discipline, which means doing more of these challenges where I have to basically discipline myself into making the better choices and practicing the better habits. I'm also so used to window shopping that this isn't really anything new for me. I find it as like a fun game where I can challenge myself to have a more balanced and healthy relationship with my finances. And because I've done this many times, I know that right now I feel strong and that I can do this, but a lot of the times I step into the store and I'm just so tempted and that's what stores are meant to do. They're meant to test you. So here we go. Make sure you watch until the end to find out if I failed or succeeded at my own challenge. All right, babes, we made it to Sephora and today we are not gonna be grabbing a basket because we're not spending money today, or are we? Watch until the end to find out. Front row and center of the store is the new Sol de Janeiro scent in number 59. I have four perfumes at home already and that feels like one too many perfumes for me, so I will definitely not be picking this up no matter how good it smells. And I'm not gonna lie, it does smell good, but I have a vanilla scent at home already, so this is gonna have to be a pass. Glow Recipe released their new Cloudberry Essence Toner in this bright orange ombre bottle for $38. I think the bottle is super cute, but I don't usually purchase new skincare unless it's a product I'm in need of in my routine. And I'm pretty satisfied with my current skincare routine, so Glow Recipe, I don't think you'll be taking my money today. And what do we have here? I found Charlotte Tilbury's Missing Pink and Red PR Lipsticks. If you know, you know. They went viral recently simply because of a PR mistake, which I thought was interesting. What the heck did Charlotte Tilbury send me? I don't even, I don't even want to touch this. Holy crap. Wait, this just took a turn of events. Mine is empty. Mine is empty. Is this a mistake? I don't know what's happening. Like there's all these pockets for new lipsticks and they're all empty the whole thing. What is going on? To our beloved Charlotte Tilbury community, We are deeply saddened and shocked to have discovered the disappearance of our Hollywood beauty icon lipstick collection. We invite anyone with any information to comment below at hashtag I am the lipstick finder. Besides the virality of this, I thought the colors were absolutely gorgeous in person and I felt slightly tempted, but I realized I don't wear pinks and reds often enough to justify this purchase, so we're putting it back. Sephora also launched some new concealers that I considered buying for review. They feel really hydrating on the skin, but truthfully, in person, they're very sheer and didn't provide much coverage. If you're still watching, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you for clicking on this video. Comment down below a diamond emoji to let me know you made it this far.
Anyways, moving on. Next, I want to see what Miss Fenty had in store for me, and she recently released her lip maximizer in a new shade called Fuchsia Flex. This swatch really almost got me to give Sephora my money, but not today, friends, because it's a color I felt like I would only wear a couple of times for specific occasions, so is a no for me, dog. Fenty also released their new hydrating concealer, which I have purchased a couple of weeks ago for $30, and I will be posting a review, so make sure you are subscribed. But if you're interested and want the short version, let me save you some time and some coin. It's not as hydrating as it's marketed to be. It creases and looks cakey at the end of the day. So it's been about an hour, I just ate lunch, and I noticed that my concealer is actually creasing pretty heavily. Would not recommend. The Laura Mercier Foundation is not a recent release, but it was made viral by Glamzilla on TikTok. I can't lie and say that this is terrible and you shouldn't buy it because I love it. I posted a review a couple of weeks ago about this, so if you're interested in learning more about it, make sure you click on the cards. So it's currently 8.16 and it's been about eight hours since I had my makeup on. It's that time of day where I just feel really tired and I cannot wait to take this off. I just feel like I look oily, that's it. And if that's the worst part of a foundation, it's a good foundation for me. But to keep it short, if you already have the Estee Lauder foundation, if you have really oily skin, then you can save your $52 on this foundation. It's good, I would recommend it, but you can live without it if you have something similar. On the other hand, they also released the concealer version of the foundation for $33. For some reason, this felt exactly like the foundation in a smaller bottle, and I have been buying way too many concealers lately, so I'll pass on this for now. Hourglass finally released lip liners for $29, and y'all, I think I have a huge crush on them. The swatches glide on so smoothly, but once the liner is set, it will not budge. It took all of my strength to scrub these off my hands in the store afterwards. I'm in love, and I need to buy them. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna have to add these to my wish list instead. Huda Beauty released yet another powder in the shade Peach Pie this time, which sounds like it would work for my medium brown skin, but I put a little bit on my hand as a swatch and it was still too light on the skin. I've also tried this powder in the past and it irritated my skin, made it red, made it bumpy, so I will definitely not be purchasing this powder no matter how pretty it looks. Makeup Forever launched a new version of their HD Skin Foundation for $47. I love that they are specific that it's for normal to dry skin because this is super glowy and it feels like a very, very hydrating formula. And if you watch my videos, you know that I'm an oily skin girl, so I'll admire it from afar. Another day, another plumping lip gloss. Or oil. House Labs released the Hybrid Lip Glaze Plumping Gloss in six different shades for $26 each. I am really considering this. Part of me wants to use the excuse to buy them for review, but nope not today. We are not going to lose this challenge, so let's keep going. Next up is skincare. I only really pass by this section to see what's out of stock and find out what people are currently dying and lusting over. I was really shocked to see that they had the overhyped Z Bronzy drops available, but I'm personally waiting for Glow Recipe to release their Hue drops because the formula is so much better than the hydrating drunk elephant drops. Speaking of overhyped, I had to stop by the Summer Friday section for my own entertainment. I knew that they weren't gonna have the $26 lip oils in stock, but I didn't expect the testers to be destroyed like this. Kind of disgusting. I still went out of my way, however, to swatch them for myself, and I can confidently say if you have a lip oil you already love at home, these do not feel any more special. The colors also look like every other lip gloss on the market, and that's just the truth. Kosas released a new complexion product called the BB 
first, but unfortunately they didn't have it in store. Sephora collection also had a sale, but remember kids, just because it's on sale doesn't mean you have to buy it. That's also a reminder for myself. The Too Faced jelly glosses are fairly new, but Oh my, I did not expect the display to be empty and look like the Summer Friday Slip Oils. They all smell so amazing. But am I missing out on these? Not really. I have so many products like this. The difference is that these lip oils smell a little bit different, or the jelly glosses as they call them. Boo. If you made it this far, then comment below a ghost emoji. That'll be our little secret. One Size also came out with a new shade of their Cheek Clapper blushes in Quirly Pop, and oof. The swatches had me questioning my wallet. I almost swiped my card then and there, but let's take a deep breath. I don't need three different formulas of this shade and it looks so pigmented, overly pigmented. Another brand new product is the One Size Hydrating Primer for $36. This felt really nice on the skin, but let's remind ourselves that a moisturizer can have the same effect as a quote-unquote hydrating primer. And while I was swatching the Tarte Merju oils, I think they're called, I bumped into this really cute guy. I'm totally just kidding. Jerome ended up meeting me at Sephora and it always helps when he's there because I feel like someone is watching over me, keeping me accountable. He doesn't judge me for what I buy, but if I'm challenging myself not to buy anything, you always need that accountability partner. So I just walked out of Sephora and I successfully came out with absolutely nothing. Do I have regrets? Maybe. Did I almost lose the challenge? Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit empty handed and sad that I left with nothing. And I usually don't get the initial satisfaction when I leave a store without buying anything. And that is just because I'm so used to going into the store, getting instant gratification, touching and feeling all of the products and getting that hit of dopamine when I swipe my card and buy the products right then and there. However, it does not feel the same when you leave the store without anything. But after a few minutes of really reflecting reflecting on my shopping trip, I did start to feel a lot better that I didn't buy anything, especially because this was a challenge for myself, so I felt successful that I passed my own challenge. And on top of that, I didn't buy anything. I felt like I didn't want that badly. And sometimes that happens when you go into the store, you get like this impulse to buy something you never planned to buy. And when I walk out of the store, I initially get excited for it, but then I go home, try on the product and realize I didn't even want it in the first place. And I know some of y'all might be asking me, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you go into the store? Why don't you just avoid the store in general? And the reason why I don't is because I still love the act of shopping, looking around and admiring the products and I feel like this challenge allows me to do it without actually splurging. And plus, I still found it enjoyable going into the store, being able to look at all of the new things. I also think that it's beneficial for my channel to show you all all of the new things and sharing my thoughts and opinions on them without having to swipe my card. So I don't completely think this was a waste of a shopping trip. For me, I personally still found it beneficial and enjoyable to really just enjoy the environment. And now I have more money to spend and more time to think through my decisions and make smarter purchases in the future. So I hope this is a reminder that you do not have to buy all of the new makeup releases, especially the viral makeup releases. Because not all viral makeup is actually good. There's so many different reasons why makeup products go viral. And if you're a content creator like me, you also don't have to buy all of the things because it might actually not be beneficial for your channel as much as you think to keep up with all of the new makeup. I hope to make more of this type of content every few shopping videos just to remind myself that I don't need to buy it all and to hopefully help those of you who are a little bit more conservative and conscious about what you purchase. So be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on a video. As always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.